I'm here almost every day. Same coffee shop, same order. Yeah, I think I'll have the, uh, the Mad Cat today. It's not surprising they recognize me here. But what if that happened any time I shopped? Anyway, all you'd need to make that happen is a camera and the right algorithm. So where are we here? Philadelphia. So this is uh, people walking into a grocery store. These aren't your average surveillance cameras. These shoppers don't know it, but a computer is scanning their faces and comparing their features to those of known shoplifters. It's called facial recognition, and it's happening at stores across North America. Facial recognition usually works in one of two ways. The camera tracks the face, finds key points on it, like the eyes and the nose, and calculates the distance between those points. The other method analyzes different regions on the face, compares contours and textures, essentially turning the face into a unique topographical map. All this happens at over a million comparisons per second. So we're able to match people against a very large database into the millions. I mean, it sounds incredibly complex. It is, and it wouldn't be possible without today's computing power. Once my photo and identity have been uploaded, the camera is able to track my face. Just by walking by, your presence has already been recorded by the system. And identify me whenever and wherever I appear. Great. There you go. Right now, facial recognition is almost always used for security. But at this Vegas trade show, kiosks are trying to sell to a brand new market, retail. Soon, stores won't just be looking to identify criminals, they'll be able to recognize customers. So I have to get your, your face. So can you hold the camera down a little bit? Here, a Canadian company is demoing its facial recognition system. I take my photo, and once the system sees me, they recognize me. Companies use this to analyze shoppers' behavior, where they go, what grabs their attention. It lets them understand the demographics uh, of the shopper, uh, the dwell time of the shopper. So will the shopper, is the shopper interested by a given display? And is this shopper um, a male or a female? And he says, you won't have to worry about your privacy. The computer will be able to recognize you, but no one else will. So if you look at the screen here, you will see on the left-hand side, the, the video from inside the booth that is unblurred, and on the right-hand side, you see that it's blurred. That blurred side, that's what the people who are reviewing the footage will see. Is this being used right now? Yes. Research in the UK suggests 30% of retail stores are experimenting with facial recognition. Privacy advocates like Jeffrey White say that's probably true in Canada as well. And the problem is, your face is almost always being scanned without your knowledge. I think if Canadians were aware that it is a common practice, it's becoming a common practice, I think there would be some concerns. Many companies are developing customer reward programs that allow shoppers to submit their pictures in exchange for special deals when they walk into the store and their faces are recognized. You can opt in and opt out, but there are no regulations. Imagine a pharmacy uh, tracking your purchases. Every single purchase you make, even the ones you make in cash. Or imagine a stranger pointing uh, a, a smartphone at you and being able to identify you by name and pull up your online dating profile uh, from across the room without speaking to you. This is what facial recognition can do. During talks to set voluntary rules for facial recognition, Bedoya tried to convince the U.S. Department of Commerce that companies shouldn't be allowed to use this technology on you without your permission. And not a single company or industry association that was part of these negotiations would accept that simple request. Instead, they all, requ uh, they all denied it. They all refused to accept it. And I think that's just beyond the pale. So is all this legal? That's the biggest unknown at this point in terms of the practice in Canada. And I think it's an area where the privacy regulators need to look more closely. Those who design these systems say it's just another way to reward loyal, repeat customers. And the corresponding loss of privacy is worth it? I think so. Hello, Mr. Yakamoto. Welcome back to The Gap. How does this 
sort of tank tops work out for you? Touted in film as technology of the future, in some ways it's more like how things used to be in the past. Hey, Miss Belfort, did you come back for another pair of those chamois lace-ups? A world with facial recognition is like living in a small town. Prying eyes everywhere, and no matter where you go, everyone knows your name. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.